I am Craig Zelasco, Orion's product line manager, and I wanted to just quickly introduce you to the new S carriage that we will be coming out with this spring. Uh, we're going to first release the S carriage on the flex line, so the LPD and the LPA, the HPA and D, um, the RTs, and then hopefully shortly after that we will be releasing on the automatic line. One thing to note, we're not going to be releasing this product on the Century line, um, but hopefully um, you'll be able to see this thing here, I'm guessing April or May time frame. Um, one thing I wanted to, to talk about or why we're releasing this product is to really drive consistency in our product line. Um, right now, today, we have different carriages for flex and different carriages for automatics. We're really hoping to get down to the one carriage that works for the entire product line. Um, and we also wanted um, that same consistency for the end user. And um, we're really hoping for the film savings for everybody that we're seeing with this product and the ones that we have out in the field today. On average, we're seeing about a 5% film savings. We've seen as much as 15%. This is per load. So over time, that really starts to add up. Um, in, in one case, we actually had a customer that said, you know, instead of the film savings right away, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add more wraps to the pallet to help secure the pallet even more, but then break even because they were able to get that film savings um, we talked about a little bit. So, um, how does this carriage save film, right? That's the question that, that people want to know. And it, what it comes down to is, is Orion's patented design. It's called the S carriage because the film is actually is going into an S pattern around the pre-stretch rollers. That pre-stretch roller then, um, what it does is it gives you 180 degrees of film contact. So you have more of the pre-stretch rollers as it's stretching that film out, touching it. And what then happens is, is it gives you less neck down. So as your film is coming out the backside, you'll have less neck down, about an inch on average of less neck down than you'll see in our carriages today. With an inch less neck down, I can now wrap faster up and I can wrap faster down because I'm covering more ground at the same time. That's where that film savings is coming in. The S carriage is also keeping the film from slipping past the rollers. So when you get in the higher tension situations, the, the film's not just slipping right past it, it still has to follow that S carriage, and so you're not getting the slippage in between there. That, with the S carriage pattern, the, the less neck down, we also have a more consistent 260% pre-stretch. Whether I'm running at 0% tension or up to 30 or 40% tension, I'm still getting that same 260%. I'm not getting that slippage past the roller. One thing about our carriage is we do have the Insta thread. So if I'm putting a new roll of film on and I'm laying film through it, I don't have to weave the film through at all. I'm gonna show you that here, but first I wanna show you the dual handle design. So with our handles, with this new design, what's gonna happen first is you're gonna feel this first part of this unlock. And basically what it's doing is it's taking the tension off from the hard stops, right? Then after that, I'll move the handle all the way to the unlock position, and the door will then just slide open. And from this angle, you won't really be able to see it, but we have actually twice the opening that we used to in the old carriage. So this is actually opening up another three or four inches beyond where it was. So like I said, I can just lay the film right through the middle then. I won't have to do any weaving. And then when I'm done, I can just close the carriage, right? First hits the hard stops, then we continue on until I get to a fully locked, and that's locked against the hard stops. That really helps those pre-stretch rollers get into place. All right, so some of the new things that you'll have seen um, is gonna be the dual handles, right? Our patented Insta-Thread um, design, and it's really gonna be easy for you to be able to, to load and unload the film as we go along. So the other thing I want to talk about is some of the changes that we made. And we're going to move over to the other carriage here that we have. Um, we've gone away from the original carriage or the carriage that you'll see out there today actually has a belt. We've moved to a dual chain uh, carriage instead. We're hoping that that's going to help on wear. It'd be one less of a wear item, but it also is going to help with the pre-stretch and everything working together and hopefully having a better product in the long run. The other area too that we've updated is our dancer bar settings. So what we've done now is we've made this dancer bar more adjustable from the beginning. 
right? I've got these holes in here that's gonna allow me to put the different springs on in different locations. Notice that we have a gold spring right now. Each one of our carriages should come with a gold spring or a silver spring. This will be the lighter spring that you can use. Uh, and in one case, we were with a the customer, they were using 39 gauge film. It was super thin gauge film that we needed to use this silver spring versus a heavier gauge, so 63 or all the way up to something heavier, we used the, the gold spring. Uh, but this is gonna allow you to make those adjustments based off the film that you're using. One thing to keep in mind, we have a 260% pre-stretch carriage. You wanna make sure that the film that you're using is capable of 260% pre-stretch, right? So that way you're not adding the wrong film to the wrong carriage. The other thing too, when I'm dialing this in, I wanna be watching this dancer bar, right? It should be a nice, smooth, flowing dancer bar. When you're going around the corners, it's gonna speed up and slow down. When you're testing your product, you don't wanna see constant bouncing and flopping. That's really bad, right? So as you're setting your machine up to run on your equipment, that's gonna help you. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do and to check to see what kind of film savings that you're getting, um, go ahead and, and take some test wraps of your own. Um, check your pre-stretch of your carriage. Check to see how much film tension you have on your load um, and time it out. And then when you're done, cut it off and weigh it. That way when you do get to the S carriage, you'll have a, a comparison. You'll be able to set up your product based off the carriage and have it run the best for you and for your and for your situation. Then you'll also be able to tell you how much film that you're saving during that time. So uh, you'll have those values to compare against down the road. Um, I think, you know, just finally being able to have this carriage out on the market that's gonna be consistent across the board, you're gonna find that 5% to maybe 15% film savings. Uh, I think is gonna be a really nice piece for your for your for your shop and for when you're wrapping product. Thanks for watching.